So uh, what would you like to see happening in the field of psychology in terms of the research that you do or that you have done in the past? You know, you've switched now in the last few years, but is there anything in particular that you would like to see developing, happening? Yes, actually there is. Um, I think what I'd like to see happening is um, more courage um, to interpret. This is my thing at the moment. So this is something I'm really um, quite interested in right now is that partly because I know that I spend a lot of time not having the courage to interpret. I thought I have to be so careful. What do you mean by that? Well, what I mean, what I mean is that there's a tendency, I think, partly out of political motivations, to avoid imposing any meaning mm -hmm. on the participants, to be respectful to what they've said, to stick with what they've said. And that's a good thing, because there's a long history of psychology abusing participants by imposing meanings or distorting what they've said and slotting them into categories, mm -hmm. pathologizing them. So to avoid all of that, I think critical psychologists have sort of, and feminists as well, in the 70s have said, well, we want to give people voice, listen to what they've said, and not add too much ourselves, and mm -hmm. just you know, give them the space to speak. And so then a lot of analyses, I think, have become uh, purely um, a systematic summary of what people have said, maybe mm -hmm. in terms of themes or something. Mm -hmm. So that um, it wasn't really an analysis or an interpretation, it was more of a, a capturing and presentation of what people said. Mm -hmm. And politically, that can be very important. Um, but now, I feel that there's, we've gone too far in that direction, and we've sort of shied away from going beyond what people have said, and talk about what might have motivated that underlying dynamics, mm -hmm. theoretical constructs that can explain why someone would say that. Uh, so rather than just saying, this is what they've said, I want to encourage people to, to think about where that might come from and mm -hmm. interpret a bit more, suggest mm -hmm. and draw in theories that, that you know, we have a lot of theories to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I mean by courage, in a sense, to have the courage to go beyond what is there and talk about where it might come from. But always, of course, with the awareness that you can be wrong and that you can interpret in a way that might um, disempower the participants mm -hmm. or impose a meaning on what they've said, which is not a good thing. But um, yeah, this is what I would like to see, a little bit more interpretation. Mm. And again, this is where I'm going myself. I want to do more of that myself. Because I have been very, I think I've been very careful, mm. conservative in a way, with um, my analysis. Not so much in discourse analysis, because that is different. That, that this is in, discourse analysis interprets in a certain kind of way by definition. But I think phenomenological research, a lot of it is simply a description of what people have said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to go beyond and have a more hermeneutic approach and interpret and throw up you know, ideas that go beyond what's been said. Yeah, it's been kind of